Oh, she wants to copy the cloning technique. Crazy. What is going on, you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're reacting to Free Run Beyond Journeys End, episode 22, called Future Enemies. If you like Free Run Beyond Journeys End, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's jump straight into this. Wow, the test is now over. Six parties. What a crazy last episode as well. Like I think the, the thing that sticks out the most was the fact was the fact that when Seri was like, This is how you say hello to Freerun, to me that was the biggest thing because I was wondering the whole time, you know, like how, do they know each other? Are they perhaps family? And Stark's just been chilling. <laughs> But now they have three days off, so it's kind of like they're back to normal. It's probably going to be Farron shouting at him or something. Damn. And what happened to his body? Like, why does he look like, look like he took some damage? You know, it's evening, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Did you stay up all night? <laughs> I drank juice in the middle of the night. <laughs> you only just woke up. But so that's what I was saying, that the last episode was crazy. But once again, that's how it is in the show, you know. You have like these crazy high moments, but most of the time... 60 70 percent of the time it's this over here richter so he just has like a shop or is he buying from the old lady wow she paid him in like stones or something oh it's his grandma <laughs> it's interesting to see this like side of him because he was willing to kill levine and kane Dragged me into a fist fight. Oh my goodness. They're going to go to the same restaurant as Freer them. But no longer. Oh, yes, because the second. Part of the test, everybody's against each other. Oh, his wife passed away. This is probably who he wants to go visit in the northern lands, the grave. So yeah, that's the thing. Everybody's now sort of just in the town. But he had an interesting ability as well, where he was able to like put out like an after image. Yeah, a clone after image. Alright, oh, he was watching the whole thing while his clone was busy fighting that other guy. I empathized with him. Isn't that what Farron is? Sogana. Isn't that the one that Farron used to catch? Well, the one that Freerun initially used. Oh, so this is the one that Herb Werbel used on her. It's, it seems similar though, like, the way they're tied up. Oh, she wants to copy the cloning technique. Crazy. So she has to empathize with you and then she can take your ability, basically. Or your spell. 
いいよいいよ君という人間が少し分かった気がするこれからどこに行くつもりだ Don't tell me he's also going to the restaurant I bet you they're all gonna meet up at this place. But what I'm saying is that something that I got wrong was when Craft the Monk, when he basically stopped Urbel from killing those people, the bandits, he was actually saving them because he had already seen her kill the other ones in the forest. So that's something that I only picked up afterwards, but I never mentioned it last time. Like he was actually saving the bandits. <laughs> Can I really indulge myself like this? So it's gonna be interesting to see where the future enemies thing comes from. Wow, it looks like an omelette. Oh my gosh, we're in with the steaks. Alright, <laughs> cause she came here with them the first time. Notice how Himmel has the same plate of food as stock. This <laughs> is really good. What is it called now? Isn't it like a Moshiro uh, rice? The one that you, it's like soft on the inside and you cut it through the middle. Or omelette, I mean. But it's that over rice. Man, that steak looks a decent medium rare as well. Stark already has food on the cheek. <laughs> Is that a chocolate croissant? So they didn't actually interact with each other. Look at her hands. <laughs> uh, Farron is hilarious. I used up my savings. The essence of martial arts is the state of nothingness. Crazy. I wonder if that's the chef, Lekka. <laughs> he seemed to attract a lot of weird people. <laughs> she made Farron angry. <laughs> I want to eat. She probably wants to go back to that restaurant again. Oh, Kanye and Levine. Oh, Urbel. <laughs> Buy crap I don't need. So she's obviously from some type of wealthy family. <laughs> Little Miss Levine. <laughs> She's gonna pull her hair, I swear. <laughs> uh, man, don't show me bread right now, bro. Animated bread is probably one of the most delicious things to look at. Man, you've got your jams as well. Just give me a, a loaf of sourdough. Kana and Levine. It's kind of interesting where it's like we nearly killed each other. Well, obviously not them, but you know, now we're just like meeting each other, seeing each other in the town and stuff. And I mean, some people actually died. Like, let's not forget that. I wonder what he needs a warrior for. Wow, that's gonna be interesting to see, like on a quest. 
丈夫でしょう。害が全くありませんでした。これお礼ね。フリーレンがいなかったら、私たちは第二次試験まで進めなかった。ありがとう。I have a feeling that it's gonna be the two of them against each other in the second test, like Levine versus Kane. And it'll probably be like some type of stalemate. <laughs> Struggle to get up the second day. <laughs> Oh, so three tests. Maybe they'll give information on the third test. Oh, here it comes. This is obviously the letter. King's tomb. Oh, this is what's her name? Sense. Sense. Not a single person passed any of them. I wonder what it could be. Because, I, like, I was thinking about, like, a capture the flag type of thing. But then at the same time, I'm like, no, they just captured the still. So, I wonder what it could be. Oh my gosh. So, they didn't even show them actually fighting. I'm a pacifist, unlike you. Okay, very interesting. Fear and Beyond Journey's End, episode 22. Very relaxed. As I always say, and I, I mean, I just mentioned it now while I was watching, is that it's how it is. You know, you got like 70% of chilled, you know, a couple of laughs here, but I'll always keep saying it it's like a you're reading a novel you're going through the pages you're going through the chapters then you have like this massive moment that we saw in the first test and you're like oh my goodness i can't believe the animation i can't believe this that and the other and then it slows down again and you get to see like the lighter side of everyone and it's kind of interesting that like people actually died <laughs> like there were some mages that actually died in the test and that eeriness you don't really even pick it up. Like people are shopping, they're eating at restaurants, they're like trying on new clothes and they're just going on as usual. Normally you would think that, wow, like, you know, this could happen to any of us type of thing. Like that, I didn't really pick that up. Wilbel is out here doing tasks and stuff for his association, I guess. But I mean, other than that, very chilled. We got to see everybody back together again with Stark, you know, Farron being on his case of, about sleeping late and stuff. Freeran on Farron's nerves, just about oversleeping as well. So that was funny to see. And interesting that we saw Erbel is able to, if she empathizes with you, she's able to actually take that spell from you. And so that's why she's like just running around trying to copy like the clones, trying to copy, and she actually copied the Sergenel from Warbell, which is pretty interesting. But anyways, really good episode. Amped for the next one, but that's going to be it for me. If you like Free and Beyond Journey's End, smash that like button. Follow my channel if you want to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date. Because, you know, I'm releasing every single day of the week. I'm going to leave the last episode right up over here. Thanks for watching. If you're watching, I'm out. Peace. In a bit.